uh, two similar equally charged identical metal sphere A and B A and B which repel each other with a force of 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 Newton a third identical uncharged sphere C is touched to A then place at the midpoint between A and B calculate the net electrostatic force on C so let me explain you that the two spheres A B was equally charged equally charged now let me explain you that if two uh, two body uh, this one and this one have charge Q1 and Q2 and they are touched to each other so the charge will uh, together Q1 plus Q2 now once they are separated charge will be divided equally among them so the charge on each will be Q1 plus Q2 by 2 and Q1 plus Q2 by 2 so this condition exists when two is, uh, body are identical if they are not identical uh, this depend upon their capacitance uh, which is beyond this uh, chapter so for the time being uh, the these uh, two identical metal spheres so charge will equal divided now if a body have a charge Q and another is uncharged I mean zero so once they touch with each other and then separated the charge on them will be Q by 2 and Q by 2 now come to the question now we have given suppose two charge body having charge Q and Q and are at separation suppose this is a separation and equal to R so the force between them is F F and F will be equal to K Q square by R square its value is given 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 Newton now there's another there's another uh, say, uh, sphere identical sphere C C so it is touched with that and now kept between it so now the charge this was A and this was B and now this is C so if it is touched with A the charge on C will be Q by 2 and charge on uh, A will be also uh, Q by 2 now there is two force there will be two force on C one by A and one by B so the and the, the separation will be R by 2 and here R by 2 also now the force on C calculate the net force on C there will be two force one by A which will be in uh, that direction suppose this is F1 and the, there is a force by by B and this will be in that direction but this force will be bigger why so because uh, the force F1 is between Q by 2 and Q by 2 while F2 is between Q by 2 and F between Q so this uh, this charge is more that's why this force will be greater so F1 will be force between Q by 2 and Q by 2 that is A and C it will be equal to K Q by 2 is square upon R by 2 is square so it will be equal to K uh, Q is square by R is square now F2 will be equal to F2 will be equal to F2 will be equal to K Q by 2 into Q upon R by 2 ka square so this will be equal to uh, twice k q square by r square this force was f this force was f and this force will be 2f so net force net force uh, 
on c equal to f2 minus f1 and f2 is f2 is 2f 2f and f1 is a f so this will be equal to f so the force f is same as was given earlier so it is 2 into 10 raised to power minus 5 newton